my channel so today's video is going to be this holiday hair inspired look I hope you guys are excited because I have been really into like hair stuff lately just because I have recently dyed my hair um, I do want to do like a really pretty like updo look so if you guys are interested in that make sure you let me know down in the comments section and I will make sure to get that up before the holiday season ends um, but yeah this is just a quick and easy like really voluminous hairstyle that I decided that I would share with you guys this is how I've actually been wearing my hair a lot recently especially when I do get dressed up I just feel like it adds to the outfit so if you guys want to see how quick and easy this was and how quick you can create this look without not that many products then so the first thing you're going to want to do is start off with either second day hair or three day hair it really just depends on your hair texture I to be honest like to start off with second day hair just because I feel like my hair just holds the curl better whenever it's a, just a little bit dirty so I am on second day hair right now so we are going to be taking our new me five in one curling wand this is one of my favorite curling irons ever just because you can change out the barrels and get different um curl sizes which is something that I personally like and I feel like it's really nice because this actually holds your curls really really well I have actually used this curling iron on some of my clients whenever they have really thin fine hard to curl hair and I feel like this just really stays um, in their hair and like makes their curls last so I'm just gonna actually part off my hair right now just so that I can make sure that I get every single piece of hair to curl Pull this up with a clip like that and something I like to do is I always like to brush out my hair just so that I can make sure that there's no knots and it's not coming out like curled with a knot so I'm just gonna brush out my hair and I'm just going to be taking my wand and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it down on each side of my hair side so on this side I'm gonna turn it down connect the hair onto the wand, let it sit there, and release it, and then you see how pretty the curl comes out. And I'm actually gonna do the same thing on this side, except I'm just going to point it down this way. So that's actually how I like to curl my hair. I like to curl all of the hair away from the face, just because it gives more of a, um, I feel like a more effortlessly look, instead of it being like Hollywood curls. I feel like Hollywood girls, curls can sometimes look a little bit forced, especially if you do like this side away from the face and then this side towards the face. It just gives a different look. So like I said, I'm just going to take the hair. I like to honestly leave this on there for probably about like six seconds and then release it and then you will get a curl like this. And I do like to leave the ends out just because I feel like the ends make it look more like a wave and not as like you know ringlet curls. I'm going to be taking probably like one inch to two inches of hair um, all around my hair. Something else I like to do too is once I take it out of the curling wand I like to hold it in my can and kind of like shake it like this just to release some of the heat. And I don't like touch my hair until I'm all done just because if I feel like if you touch your hair, you're kind of like brushing out the curls and then it kind of like sets like that. So I just like to leave it until I'm completely done and then I will kind of, you know, make more volume, uh, kind of brush it a little bit, separate the curls. Number two is if you just leave the hair setting um, until the heat's completely gone, I feel like it lasts longer like that too instead of you brushing it out.
going to take the other part of my hair and kind of just split it and I'm going to do the same exact steps as I did to the bottom except I'm just going to kind of um, whenever I start to do the top I actually like to part my hair off like here and then clip this part up because wherever your part falls is how you're going to want to curl away from your face so my hair actually parts here and then my hair kind of folds this way with my bangs so I just want to make sure these curls go this way instead of um, them going in so I'm going to start off with this section and I'm going to comb this as well I forgot to mention you can also put heat protectant which is normally what I do but I actually forgot um, I just use a Tresemme heat protectant um, and you can do that if you are you know worried about damaging your hair once I come to the top since I do part my hair this way I'm just going to be taking all this hair and curling it away from the, the face of this way instead of it going, you know, some this way. Just because if you part your hair down the center or wherever to the side and if you curl it, oh, you know, into your face, it's going to look different. Um, and you want it to match, you know, this side of the hair. So I'm going to follow what I did to this side and make sure that the hair goes away from the face. And like I said, the, how you'll know is if you're going away from the face is if you just turn your wand down um, each side. And you wrap it, like I know if you were to turn it down and wrap it this way, it's going inside. So if you put it, put it down and go underneath, that makes it go away from the face. I also like to curl them away from the face just so I can get that face frame um, shape around my bangs and my face frame so I'm just gonna do this lightly I'm not gonna curl it like too too much because I don't want it to be like a ringlet curl you know I just want it to kind of be like loose see how it like sweeps across and once I'm all done curling my hair like I said I like to wait to separate it because if not it's just gonna look like this and it doesn't really look cute it just looks like spaghetti curls and me personally I'm not into that look I like more of a volumized look so especially like for the holidays I feel like the volumized look is really pretty just because it makes it look like you have more hair um, so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to spray some my my um, hair with dry shampoo. This is the one that I really love just because I feel like it lasts such a long time and it smells good. I do get the toasted coconut one, but for some reason it smells more like a sweet chocolate scent, um, which is something I personally like the smell of. If you don't like you know that kind of scent, there are, are different ones for this, but I just like this one. Um, and this one, like I said, does last me for a really long time. It does kind of leave like a white cast, especially now that my hair is dark. Darker, it will leave that white cast but as long as you you know fully massage it into your scalp and make sure that it's distributed throughout the hair you won't get that so I just like to grab my teasing comb I did get this from Daiso and you can pretty much use any teasing comb um, as long as it has this like pointy side so I'm just gonna separate the hair and I'm gonna spray like each little section here and this just also helps give you volume because we are going to have a lot of volume at the bottom. You want it to kind of match the top here. I'm going to do this all around my scalp. Just so I can absorb these oils because I know sometimes it's hard for people to style their hair after it's already like oily but as long as you do this it won't look oily at all so now I'm going to just kind of shake my fingers through it and you will start to notice that you're gonna get that volume back in your hair like you see how the curls are starting to separate and I'm starting to get like that volume. I also like to spray it like right here at the crown because for some reason it just gets like really flat there. So I just like to spray it there. It's kind of like adding hairspray but it's not going to make your hair crunchy. So I actually don't add hairspray into my hair just because I feel like it sometimes makes your hair crunchy and then you can't really like run your fingers through it. So I like to back comb after I've already you know added the dry shampoo in so I'm just going to back comb the sides 
Um, with this look, like depending on your hair, where you part it will depend on how you back comb it. I like to keep my um, part with my bangs and then tease it so that it gives more volume. So I'm just going to do the sides here. I'm just going to back comb the first section and then another section right underneath. Of course, we're not going to leave it like that. We are going to fix it and comb it down so that it looks more natural. Um, and then when I, once I come to this side of my hair, I do like to leave my bangs kind of out like that and push this side back. So I'm going to back comb more on this side just because I have more hair on this side. So I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did to the other side. So you see how much volume that created, but of course we don't want to leave it like that. What I like to do is I like to take the bristle side of my um, teasing comb and I just like to kind of like do this, like not actually put it in there and comb it, but I like to kind of just like brush it so that it combs out what looks knotted because you don't want it to look like you have a bunch of knots in your hair. And obviously sometimes it looks really big, but once you pin it back, it evens all out and it looks more like, you know, together instead of looking like big and poofy up there. Now I'm just going to be taking some bobby pins. These are just some regular old bobby pins. And I'm going to just, you know, pin the parts back that I want back. Um, and before I do that, I'm actually going to take some of the hair and kind of like get my hair and do this like very lightly. And this is just going to create more volume at the bottom. And it's also going to help give that more separated look instead of it just be like, you know, spaghetti curls. Take this side and just use like the pointy side to just kind of make some of the hair come out. And I'm just going to kind of push it up and then bobby pin it. And depending on how thick your hair really is will depend on how many bobby pins you need. I actually need two per side. And I just kind of like to push the hair up a little bit more. I know it looks kind of funny because it looks like I'm bigger on this side. Um, and then I'm going to take this side. I'm going to frame the face. Leave some pieces out here. And then I'm just going to kind of like try to like poke at it almost. And I feel like to be honest without a like good teasing comb. I feel like this hairstyle is almost impossible, so that's why it's kind of important. Unless you really have, like, naturally volumized hair, then you won't have a problem. But for me, for some reason, my the bottom of my hair is really thick and volumized, but the top is always really flat. So After you're done, you can put hairspray, but to be honest, for me personally, it just kind of weighs down my hair. So I just like to take, again, the teasing comb and just kind of, like, separate the curls and kind of just, like, fluff it up so it gives more volume. And then if you want, you can tease your bangs just so that they have more volume too. Sometimes I like to do that. And there you have it. This is your holiday hair. I feel like with the volume at the top, it just makes it look more sleek and put together. And it just gives a lot of like volume. And I just think it looks really pretty whenever you're like more dressed up, I guess you can say. That is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick holiday hair look. You can wear this for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's if you wanted to. Um, to be honest, this is like one of my favorite hairstyles that I love doing because I feel like it just adds like so much to your hair with it you know just being pinned back a little bit with a little bit of volume then just wearing it down it kind of looks like kind of boring in my sense so yeah if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell that way you guys can be notified every single time i upload and i will see you guys in my next video bye